After the surprise hit of the first Deadpool back in 2016, Ryan Reynolds is back as the foul-mouthed superhero in Deadpool 2. Here, Deadpool has to try and protect a kid who is being hunted down from Cable, played by Josh Brolin, who time-traveled from the future. Now, if what I just told you sounded like a gritty action movie, get that idea out of your head, as Deadpool trying to save a kid goes about as well as you think it would, but worse. So when I first got out of the movie, I was really high on it, which is not hard to do, considering I just watched some of the best post credit scenes in a movie ever. However, now, after thinking about it for a few days, my opinion on the movie has lowered. Instead of being one of the best comic book and comedy movies of the past few years, it is more of a mixed bag. First, let me as always start off with the good stuff here, which are the jokes and the characters. For the most part, the jokes are better than the first one, including more references and their own running jokes within the movie. Now, there are some jokes that don't land, but usually the movie goes through the jokes so fast that you don't really notice it that much. The other strong part of Deadpool 2 are its characters. From Deadpool to Cable to Colossus and the rest of the main cast, they are written really w well. How they interact with Deadpool makes for the great conversations and jokes that make the Deadpool movie so great to watch. When Fox previously talked about making an X-Force movie, I was wondering how it would work, but after seeing a bit of it in action in Deadpool 2, I would love for them to make one if it's just like that. Now to the issues I have of the movie, of which there are a few. The first is the pacing of a few of the scenes. I won't go into detail about them, but there are two scenes that stand out as taking way too long to finish, and I felt it hurt the seriousness or the fun in those scenes. The other issue with the movie is with the plot, and for this it's just a personal preference. The plot for Deadpool 2 tries to go somewhere, but by the end of it, it goes nowhere, and it was kind of a waste of time. Now if you are of the mindset that a Deadpool movie should not really have much of a plot, that is fine. Just for me, the plot here was really lacking, and that for me is saying something considering there wasn't much of a plot in Deadpool 1, but at least the plot in Deadpool 1 worked. If they were to do an X-Force movie, there would need to be more of a solid plot for that to work well. Jokes alone won't cut it there. Overall, Deadpool 2 is like your favorite slice of cake. You'll have it only once in a while, but by the second or third time of having it, it still tastes good, but it's missing that special something the first slice had. My final rating for Deadpool 2 is a 7.5 out of 10.